Hello everyone. We present our poster titled 3D Reconstruction of Clothes Using a Human Body Model and Its Application to Image-Based Virtual Try-On. We authors are from Seoul National University of Science and Technology and Cardiff University. Main bottleneck of the image-based virtual try-on approaches is the deformation of try-on clothes according to the pose of target humans. Turing non-rigid deformation algorithms mostly fail in transforming to seemingly complex poses. For example, occlusion by hands, cross arms, or various fashion modeling poses. We present a hybrid approach for image-based virtual try-on leveraging 3D clothing reconstruction and deformation using a 3D statistical body model. This is the full pipeline of our proposed method. We take input pair of a try-on cloth and a target human image to generate the final try-on result. We match and align the try-on cloth against SMPL silhouette and reconstruct as 3D. Also, we estimate 3D pose and shape from the target human image. Then we transfer the estimated pose and shape from the target human to the 3D cloth model. Finally, we render the 3D deformed cloth and blend it together with target human properties using the Tryon network to generate the Tryon result. We used the VDON dataset for our experiments and results comparison. We divided the clothes from the test dataset into five categories based on sleeve length for matching against the category specific prototype shape from SMPL silhouette. We used shape context matching between the try-on cloth and the prototype shape based on its category. Then we apply thin plate spline transformation on the try-on cloth to align it against SMPL silhouette. After cloth matching, we apply the aligned cloth as texture to a standard a post SMPL body model, which becomes the reconstructed 3D cloth model. Then we apply the estimated 3D pose and shape from the target human to the 3D cloth model which produces the 3D deformed cloth. Then we render the deformed cloth model to get the 2D warped cloth. We use a pretend blending network for synthesizing the final try-on result similar to the try-on module of CP Viton Plus. We input the warped cloth from previous step to the blending network along with target human representation input to generate the final output. Here we present sample results from our method. We visually compared the warped cloth and try on output with those from CP Viton. We present more sample results from our approach. Our method works best when 3D pose and shape of the target human are estimated correctly. Currently, our method only works for tightly fitted clothes. Further works are needed to include those loose fitted clothes such as coats and skirts. Thank you for watching.